The local teachers union will soon be under new leadership. Tina Cousins has served as the president of the Prince George District Teachers Association in recent years. She led local teachers through turbulent times, including last year's strike. But now she's stepping down to return to the classroom. This is a day to celebrate. UNBC's latest class of teachers are ready to enter the classroom. <laughs> so it's my passion. It's something that I've always wanted to do, so I'm so excited. <laughs> to tell them about the reality of the job, Tina Cousins, president of the Prince George District Teachers Association. Both as a classroom teacher and union leader, she's seen a lot. It was the best of times and the worst of times. Uh, we saw a level from the government that was very disrespectful, but we also saw our members stand up for public education with a militance that we don't show very often, but it's important. Cousins believes these new teachers may not have it easy. Whenever we have declining enrollment and whenever we have a $3.3 million budget shortfall, we are always concerned about what that looks like for our students in our classrooms and for our staff. Local teachers are electing a new president and executive for the PGDTA. I do think that in the future I will be back, but for right now it's time for me to head back into the classroom. I've been out for four years and I miss teaching kids and that's what I got into this profession for. The vote is happening at Van Bien Elementary at the association's annual general meeting. For many teachers, the strike is still fresh. Last year, they spent weeks on the picket line trying to make gains for BC's education system, including wages and classroom supports. I think we're going to have to use that militance and that power and the groundswell uh, to just to move forward and to say to the government, our students need more funding, we need more supports, and we can't do it anymore with no money. Teaching is a profession that chooses you because really, you know, people might think there's not really much in it for teaching, but I think it's just good to always be hopeful and optimistic. I'm just so excited to be finally done. It's been a long haul. I've been doing this for seven years of my life, and I'm so excited to enter the new world, <laughs> my career. <laughs> But as they join the ranks, the future could have its challenges. Camille McDonald, CKPG News. And members have elected Richard Giordé as the new PGDTA president. His term will start in September. John Hapke replaces him as first vice president. Phil Rice is the second vice president. Susan Trabant is the new treasurer. And Debbie Page is secretary.